good evening the online space is getting exciting i am talking about the online pharma space all three big players are already in inside the f- digital pharma place tata bot one mg reliance bot netmets and pharmacy has been acquiring a lot of companies and is planning to go for an ipo when all this is going on i also talked about the fact that flipkart has bought into shasta sundar a calcutta based e pharma supported by 490 pharmaceuticals with flipkart entering the fray it is only a matter of time before the other big digital giant online giant amazon also gets into the business amazon has not yet started doing telemedicine or selling pharmacy online while this is going on in one side india's largest hospital chain apollo in 2021 decided to merge its online pharma business offline pharma business and its telemedicine through a slum sale into a company called apollo health company so this company has a model of providing telemedicine it also provides for pharma pharmaceutical sales both within their hospital chain and also through offline retail showrooms at various places also it has also started online sales of pharma products to compete with the all all these new guys apollo has already got in house capacity and ability to negotiate with the pharmaceutical companies in recent times the apollo group has announced that it needs to raise money for this company they are valuing the company which has telemedicine online pharma sales and a chain of offline pharma sales at 3 billion dollars nearly 22 to 23000 crore rupees what they are trying to say is they are willing to offer 20% of this company and they are expecting a price of 500 million dollars reports are saying to us that apollo and amazon are in talks for amazon funding 500 million dollars to lay its hands on this business would be a great thing also once given amazon's reach and distribution with lots and logistics might it makes imminent sense for apollo to ride on amazon because even apollo debuts on amazon website marketplace you can expect a huge surge in orders because today the messaging is not very clear the messaging is not clear because the apollo brand stands only for hospitals pharma distribution company was started primarily to sell pharmaceuticals to patients whom they are catering and sell pharma to patients to whom their doctors were writing prescription thus it was only it started as that then it started expanding with showrooms in all upscale localities in towns and cities where they already had an office only now have they spun it off into a serious business telemedicine was even though was there previously was not a very happening place till the covid pandemic struck when the covid pandemic struck most people with chronic illness such as diabetes or blood pressure did not want to take the risk of coming to a consulting room to consult with a doctor thus apollo saw an opportunity to beef up its telemedicine space where patients could fix appointment with their doctors make payments online and the doctor and the patient connected through either zoom or a whatsapp call this meant the doctor saw the patient and could gauge what was the issue he could write medicines based on what he saw or he could prescribe tests where the patients would go to the lab get the tests done and the test results would go back to the doctor 
So telemedicine really took off during the COVID pandemic. It makes great sense to go into telemedicine because it means that they don't have to waste endless hours waiting for a doctor in the hospital. So people who are not very seriously ill can connect to the doctor of their choice using Apollo hospitals or any large network where all specialties are available. Do the preliminary consultations with the doctor online. So this business will also rapidly go in India because both pharmacy and Tata one mg are offering free consultations from doctors for patients who buy medicines from them. While this telemedicine may initially replace the general home AGP, that is a general practitioner and who was there at your neighborhood clinic over a period of time, this will also move and attract patients who have chronic illnesses even after the pandemic for they would not like to go and wait into the hospital. Once they have met a doctor online and the initial ice is broken and clients or patients are willing to meet doctors over Zoom or WhatsApp or Microsoft Teams, then it is a win-win situation both for the doctor and the patient because the doctor can see more patients and the patient cuts travel time and other expenses plus waiting time in the hospital. Waiting time in the hospital can have a psychologically damaging impact on more patients. For one, a person like me, I am extremely nervous waiting in a hospital. So if I have to wait for my turn with 20 patients ahead of me, it will make me very nervous. Instead, if I can consult a doctor through telemedicine on the dot at the time allotted to me, I would definitely prefer that. Once people see the convenience of this, more and more people will start to opt for telemedicine. This would grow into a big business for this Apollo Health Company. But whether Amazon invests or not, only time will tell. Let's wait and watch. Thank you for watching. Be rich. நீங்க வந்து என்னோட எல்லா சேனலுக்கும் பேராதரவு கொடுத்துருக்கீங்க உங்கள் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிங்கிற புது சேனல்லையும் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்க ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க பெல் நோட்டிபிகேஷனை தட்டி விடுங்க நன்றி வணக்கம்